So much time has passed that I still can't remember that you are no longer with me. And the day has just totally begun. I remember that day as if it were yesterday. She asked for a photo in the front of our house as a memento, and another photo in front of her favorite spot under the tree. Freya told me that after she died, she would wait for me there where we would see her watch the sunset. My first catch of my own. I had to take a wrong swing and cast a rod, and a hook got caught in my back. Freya and Inquire laughed at me for a long time. She asked me to keep the hook as a memento, so that I would have something to remember when I was old. I remember you telling me that when you grew up. You were going to buy yourself a car and take me and your mother to all the beautiful places. You were so eager. You were so young. There were so many roads open to you. I was sure you'd accomplish so much. Life isn't fair. Ingwer's cap has been so many years. But I still look at you and remember how happy you were until the very end. The tears won't stop. So many years. When Freya was pregnant with Ingwer, she was so fond of this mug. She said this mug was like a heart that needed to be fed with a hot tea. In my opinion, it was just an ordinary mug. Like all the others, now this mug is like one of my memories of her. Once upon a time, the stove burned, lighting up the house with warmth. It was like a symbol of my heart. Now all that's left is ashes, only ashes. Freya's favorite garden, or what's left of it. When she was gone, the weeds took over. Sometimes I began to think she loved this garden more than I did. She spent so much time here. To the question, why are you always digging in this garden? She would answer. Be thankful I'm digging here at all. You all grunge. She loved her garden. When Ingwer was gone, I was so angry at myself for not being there for him. I took an axe and chopped wood until I was exhausted. My inner cry of pain keeping me awake. I was stopped by a hand, Freya's hand. She put her hand on my shoulder and put her arm around my back. I was relieved. The anger gradually subsided. But the pain remains here to this day. Freya's favorite place. 
She loved to sit under this tree and look out to the distance. Ingrid's death had hit her hard. It was only here that she found peace and tranquility. The pain subsided a little, only temporary. I couldn't help her, and she did not want my help. If I could, I would have tried to help her somehow. This was where Freya spent her last sunset. Freya, Ingvar. There are not enough words to describe how much I miss you. I'm old now. How much it hurts to stand here and look at you. And I'm standing here. Forgive the old fool who couldn't keep you safe. Forgive me. stands here as a pleasant memory. Ingwer was a dreamer. He believed in more. He imagined a lot about taking off and touching the sky. He told us how free he felt swinging on the swings, as if he could touch the sky a little more. At the moment I heard Freya scream, as she called out to Ingwer with tears in her eyes, how she begged him to wake up. But it was too late. I miss the nighttime get-togethers, the way we sat talking about things, the way Ingwer asked questions about stars. He called them heavenly lights. Freya said they were the souls of people who led the way for those who had lost a minute of life, looking up so that these people realize that not all is lost, that this is not the end. Everything will be all right from here on out. It's time to sail.
worried about me, no matter where I went. She didn't like it when I was late on a fishing trip. She'd panic right away. She stood right here on a pier, patiently waiting for me to come back. She was so... caring. Such silence. Only the sound of water hitting the side of the boat can be heard. How I miss that calm. The people who gave me that feeling. Life has set its priorities, leaving certain questions behind. It remains to accept and live on until your hour comes. Rhea could not forgive herself for Indra's death. There was something inside her that kept her going. She longed for him so much that life ended up taking her away from me. As if I hadn't had enough. I should have been finished off completely. Life isn't fair. Not fair at all. That's all. I feel no fear or regret. Only fatigue. The strength is gone. Looking at you reminds me of all times. How happy we were. How you made me happy. We were. They are waiting for me at home. It's time to go back. You are in my memories forever. Not a day goes by where I don't think of you. Oh, how I miss the days when we were happy. And how happy we were. But life has separated us. Only to reunite us again. Freya? Ingvar? Is it really you? No, no, no! Where are you going? I just got here. I need to find my family. They are waiting for me. Ingwer's story. He was always building a trail of his things. That's how he played hide and seek with me. If I followed the trail of Ingwer's things, it would lead me to myself. Exactly as I remember it. I need 
need to find my family. They are waiting for me. I didn't look at everything from the outside. The axe fell to the ground. Ingwer tried to pick it up again, but could not. The garden is in bloom, just like in the old days, but she's not here. I don't think they were here. It wasn't evening yet. The swings are empty. There are none here. The pond bloomed again. It was alive again. Freya and Ingwer were allowed to share wild fish as they swam from the side to side. Here one could find peace and watch the life itself. My old boat, still standing here, haven't had it fixed since then, never got around to it. Smoke in the chimney. Freya melted the stove. There is a fire burning in the furnace. Freya supports the heart of the house. The fisherman caught the fisherman. Like in an old joke. I should have taken such a swing. I still have the scar. The fisherman caught the fisherman, like an you know, old joke. I should have taken such a swing, I still have the scar. We are so happy, for I loved to look at this picture, to remember how young and happy we were, how much time had passed. Freya brewed hot tea and filled an empty mug. She would retreat to the dock, waiting for me to return home. That's how she knew how late I'd been fishing. Didn't like it when I was too late. Started getting real worried. It was nothing, but it wasn't for her. Freya, they are waiting for me.
Thank you.